Hello everyone, Commando X here, and today I'm going to show you sentry removal techniques using a baton and an improvised sapper. Alright? Warning, the techniques following here in this video can be fatal. Please exercise caution, consideration, and common sense when applying or attempting any of these techniques. Alright? Using a baton, which averages about 18 to 24 inches, you sneak behind an opponent. This is three techniques I'm going to show you how to get rid of a sentry using the baton. Sneak up behind him, stick your arm under his arm, as if you were to apply a half Nelson. Stick the uh, baton under his throat, interlocking right here with the bend of your elbow. Press his head forward. Okay, that's one technique. The other one is without putting your arm under his, the same way. Okay, just over his shoulder without sticking your hand under his arm. One the same way. The other one is applying a full Nelson with both arms and driving his neck into the bar. When applying these techniques, if you really want to get rid of him quick, drop to one knee, his neck will snap. Okay, or you could actually stick your knee behind his lower of his back and pull him or you could kick out his leg and whatnot. Okay? Technique number two will consist on making an improvised sapper. Alright, this is a very popular prison technique. You could take a good sturdy sweat sock, alright? In this situation we will stick a padlock in here. You can put batteries, you can put a fresh bar of soap, um, anything solid, okay, that would be painful. A roll of quarters, all right? You can tie a knot on it so it won't slip off, all right? So it won't slip off, or you can wrap it around your hand. Up to the targets to hit with this will be anywhere on the neck or the head. The back of the head, the base of the neck right here, right, where the skull and the spine meets, would be a very fatal blow, all right? With this, well, with the baton, as I mentioned earlier, you could also take both hands and give them a good butt stroke to the base of the skull, to the beginning of the spine, all the way to the fifth thoracic vertebrae, which is between the shoulder blades around right here. All right? Right, right there, towards the middle. The strike here would be very fatal, either using the baton or actually using the sapper. All right? Now, before I go, there's something I want to show my fans. Okay? Not only this is a baton, but it also transforms into a mini naginata or a spear of doom. Swung both ways. This blade may not be heavy enough to hack through a head, but it could damn near nearly decapitate somebody with a good swing. All right? Just want to show that to you guys. This one. There's a Japanese police baton. It's spring loaded. You aim at somebody's face, you will knock his teeth out. Okay? Spring loaded. Very effective. Very nasty. It's hard. It's durable. Matter of fact, this thing shoots so hard, the only way to put it back down, you have to actually hit it like, like so. All right? Very effective, very dangerous. Last but not least, for all you knuckle buster fans out there, fans of brass knuckles and whatnot, this here is a keychain. And it's called the Black Cat. And it's shaped like a little kitty. Okay? You stick your fingers right here, or right here, or better yet, get two kitties, put two right here, put two right here. 
favorite areas. Aim at the eyes, you punch him in the throat. Or if he grabs you, you could dig in, dig into his ribs. Very effective, very affordable. Costs around eight American dollars. Okay. Go check uh, the Bud K catalog or go to the Bud K website. All right. Right now, that's all for now. Thank you so much. Take care. God bless.